cabbage, not garbage. I misspoke earlier when we were teasing this. Cabbage, it's a staple in many East Tennessee homes. And hey, it's very versatile. Today, Jess Thomas shares a great recipe using cabbage. Hey everyone, it's Jess again. Missing you all in the studio, but we're still gonna keep cooking. So in Appalachia, there's a dish called fried cabbage. Wonderfully sauteed cabbage in butter, it's delicious. But we're actually gonna do an Indian version of the same dish. It's amazing to see how the same types of dishes you can find all around the world. So when you think of Indian food, you may think of tandoori chicken or naan, things that you might find in a typical Indian buffet, which is actually probably just regional to the owners of that restaurant. Where I'm from, it's called Kerala, and it's actually translated into land of the coconuts. So everything is fried in coconut oil, there's shredded coconut in everything, and today we're gonna make cabbage thorin. Cabbage thorin is our fried cabbage, and it is delicious with aromatic spices and blends that you are going to love. And if you go down to your local Indian store, you can definitely find all these ingredients, but some of them you can even find at your local grocery store. And don't worry if you can't find everything because part of Indian food is the philosophy of the flavors that you put together and how you marry them with the same basic ingredients, but you just do it according to your taste. So I'm gonna show you how you can make authentic Indian food in your own home that's gonna be delicious and nutritious. For this dish, we're going to finely shred one cabbage. We're also going to dice one onion, and we're gonna use a bunch of Indian flavorings. This dish originates in South India where coconuts are abundant. So we're gonna use coconut oil, and in that we're gonna put black mustard seeds, cumin seeds, turmeric, we're going to use jalapenos for some heat, and curry leaves. You may not be familiar with curry leaves, but these are a type of herb that grow on a tree and they are super fragrant and again available at your local grocery store. We're also gonna have salt to season and optional, here's some shredded coconut. Make sure you don't get the sweetened kind. We need unsweetened coconut for this. Now we add our coconut oil to the pan, let that melt and then we will add our black mustard seeds. This is a great flavoring for the oil, but first we have to wait for it to pop. You can actually hear all the popping and sizzling happening. Pretty cool, huh? So next, we will add our cumin seeds. This adds a different layer of flavoring. And then our curry leaves. You can either leave it on the stem, ooh, crackling, or you can take it off of the stem. Doesn't matter either way. Um, then we add our onions, stir fry that around, our chopped jalapenos. Again, if you want it to be hotter, then you can leave the seeds, otherwise you can remove the seeds. We're gonna stir that around and let that brown a little. Turn on the fan, add our turmeric. That's got lots of great healthy properties. It's even considered an antiseptic in India. So then we add our cabbage, which seems like a lot, but we're going to stir that around. It's going to cook down. All the flavors are um, stirred into it. And then we're gonna cover it with a lid and let that cook for about 10 minutes. And now for the coconut. This is just two tablespoons, but you could actually put up to half a cup, which really reflects the Kerala culture and all the coconut that they grow there. To learn more about Kerala and South Indian cooking, I highly recommend Ugly Delicious on Netflix. It's a great documentary on season two or Taste of the Nation by Padma Lakshmi on Hulu. Now here is our cilantro and we're just stirring that up as our garnish and it is all set quick and easy. And there you have your fried cabbage Indian style. This cabbage thorn is totally gonna add to your regular palate of having your side dishes, or it can even be used as a main dish, especially if you're trying to lose some of that COVID-15 that you've gained the past few months. So I hope you get to try it. Go to your Indian grocery store, pick up some of those spices and enjoy and have a great week. Oh, it looks so tasty. Thanks, Chef Jess. We love your recipes. All right.